permission slip? Yes, and it's in your backpack with your lunch. But are you absolutely positively sure? Oh, uh, Olivia, you asked Mom a thousand times already. It's all right, Ian. Olivia's just excited about her field trip to the aquarium. What's so exciting about seeing a fish tank? We can see that at home. It's not just a fish tank. The aquarium has all kinds of fish tanks. Giant ones filled with every creature from under the sea. Every creature? Yep, and best of all, they have sea lions. Will you wrestle a really big shark and bring back one of its teeth for me? Sure. Bye. Honey, I don't think she'll get that close to a shark. Mom, you never know with Olivia. <laughs> Attention, please. As you can see, I will be taking my trusty cowbell on our field trip in case I need to restore order at the aquarium. <laughs> Just like that. Now, I'm wearing this colorful and stylish visor so you can spot me if you get lost. But, Mrs. Hagenballer, I don't want to get lost. And you won't, Alexandra, because we will be using the buddy system. You will each have a buddy for the entire day. And when I say, buddy check, you are to hold hands with your buddy and raise them in the air. Any questions? Olivia? Can I be buddies with Julian? No, you are paired with Francine. Julian, you and Harold are buddies. Sophie. Sweet! Oh, Julian you brings the best Sam. lunch. Con come here, Connor. Over here with Connor. You come together. Otto, Oscar. Come on, get together, boys. Get together. Daisy, uh, you and Alexander will pair up. Come on, buddy. Good. Thank Let's you. practice walking before the bus comes. But Francine, I already know how to walk. I mean walk in step. Like buddies. It'll be fun. Now, do you want to walk on the left? Or the right? Rule of life number 12. Sometimes other people's idea of fun is very different from your own. The bus is here. Gotta go. Welcome to the aquarium, children. I'm Mr. Busby, the aquarium director, and these are your aquarium passports. As you view each exhibit, you will get a sticker, which you will affix to the image on your card. How very organized. And once your passport is full of stickers, you will go outside to the sea lion stage. <laughs> Class, the first buddies to collect all their stickers will have a little surprise later. Does it have something to do with the sea lion show? Yes, Olivia. And that's all I'll say about the surprise. Now, children, you may view the exhibits in any order you like to get your stickers. However, you must stay with your buddy. And there will be no running. Francine, hurry! I want to win the surprise! I think we should view the exhibits in this order. Smallest fish to biggest and save the scary shark for last. Fine, whatever. Let's just go. But we should plan this carefully. Come on, they already got a sticker. Olivia, we agreed. 
Our first tank. Guppies. Olivia, are these guppies or groupers? Huh? Oh, those are groupers. You can tell by their lips. Wow, I didn't know you knew so much about fish. Look, clownfish. Olivia, wait, that's not the next fish on the list. So, we need a clownfish sticker. Yes, but not before we get the angelfish sticker. Ooh, seahorses. Olivia. Body check. Here. Good job, class. Carry on with your stickers. Is it time for lunch yet? Mm, not quite, Harold. You have ten more minutes to finish collecting your stickers. Do you guys know the way to the petting pool? Sure. It's through that door. We were just there. Look out for the blue crab. He's in a bad mood today. That's the last sticker we need. We could be the winners. Unless you two already finished. Nope, Julian said we should stop for lunch. If the surprise has anything to do with sea lions, we don't want to win. Fish breath is kind of gross. Come on, Francine. One more sticker and we'll win the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mrs. Hagenmuller, we got all the stickers, even that electric eels. Girls, this is amazing. How did you do it so fast? Well, some people are just better at the buddy system. You're the winners of the surprise. All right, who wants to feed the sea lions first? I do. <laughs> well, there are two sea lions and there are two of you. Ew. If you don't mind, Olivia, I think I'll just watch from over there. You don't want to feed the sea lions? <laughs> Olivia! Olivia! <sighs> Olivia! It's time to feed the sea lions! I thought you'd never ask. And then I taught the sea lion to walk sideways and stand on its fins. And I even got it to eat Harold Hockenberry's tuna fish sandwich that nobody wanted. Well, I can see that you are quite the animal trainer. I am, aren't I? I guess I speak sea lion. How about speaking good night? Good night, Mom. I love you and sea lions. I love you and sea lions, too. Good night, Olivia. Well, good morning, William. Did you have a nice sleep? <laughs> we want to be quiet so we don't wake up the others. <gasps> I'm ready for the beach. I love 
love the beach, don't you, Dad? You can swim and snorkel and fly kites and collect seashells. Well, I'd like to catch up on my reading. And boogie board and teach your favorite toy how to dog paddle and make sand pies. I'm going to build a sand city with skyscrapers and everything. Cool. I can't wait to relax in the sun today. Let's blow it up when we get there, shall we, Olivia? But... We need some room for the family. And don't forget, Julian's coming along, too. Julian doesn't take up very much room. Usually. Well, uh, hello, Julian. Looks like you're all set for a fun, safe day at the beach, I think. Yeah, I just hope I don't get sunburned and end up with salt water up my nose like last time. Let's see. What great things should we do today? We should definitely make sand angels first. This is great. No, I won't even have to touch the sand. But you can't make sand angels if you don't touch the sand. But it gets in my bathing suit and makes me itch and... <laughs> <laughs> Every time I come here, it's a complete disaster. You've almost got it. Now move your arms and legs. Do you think I can swim without getting wet? Now, just hang on to your board and do what I do. Okay. But don't do anything too radical. Who, me? This isn't so bad after all. Whoa! Look out, Julian! Ow. Sorry, Ian. I think I got even more sand in my pants. Don't worry. There's plenty of fun stuff to do out of the water. We can rebuild Ian's sand city with giant buildings, heliports, and a subway system for the sand crabs. Well, I'm already covered in sand, so why not? Hey, what's this? Could be an oyster. <gasps> a real oyster? Do you have any idea what oysters are? Invertebrates? Yeah, but that's not all. They're also pearl makers. They're what? Pearl makers. Oysters make pearls, and pearls make beautiful necklaces. Isn't this exciting? Nope. Finding an oyster is like finding buried treasure. And if there's one oyster on the beach, there's got to be more. Come on, let's start digging. Sounds like a lot of work. Aren't we supposed to be having fun today? What could be more fun than digging for buried treasure? Aww. Shoo! Shoo, birds, that's our lunch. <sighs> <sighs> There's nothing else here. I think we're digging in the wrong place. How about... over there? On that island? Come on, mateys! It's just like a pirate adventure! Arr! Aye, aye, aye! Shiver me timbers. There be a treasure map. Rawr. Polly wants a pearl maker. Rawr. It's fun to be pirates and sail on the sea. We wear funny hats and we do what we please. We don't worry about bedtime or eating our peas. The life of a pirate's the life for me. Yo ho, it's treasure we're after. Yo ho. Yo-ho, we'll dig till we find them. Can we 
need to find the pearls inside. It's fun to be pirates, we get to tell tales. A searching for treasure gets swallowed by whales. But our boat springs a leak, a less galley wise tail. Treasure map, dead end, babies! Yo! Well? Well what? Aren't you gonna go in and get it? Why don't you do it? I'm the captain, and the captain stays with the ship. But... What? She's the captain! Lead us to the treasure. Land ho! Full speed ahead! Whoa! Let's start digging. Didn't I tell you we were gonna have fun today? Yep, you did. I'm hungry. I don't want to dig anymore. I'm going to go get a sandwich. Oysters! I found one too! Number 19. Sometimes you just have to use your big voice. We did it! <laughs> <laughs> nice jam, Dad. <laughs> Should we go back for a treasure? Treasure? Oysters! With pearls inside! Hmm. Sorry, Olivia, that's actually not an oyster, it's a clam. There are no pearls inside. <sighs> But they're perfect for a clam bake. Who wants seconds? Shoo! <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, all of these books are about pirate adventures. How about one pirate story followed by a nice, gentle story like Goodnight Beach? Um, how about two pirate stories and Goodnight Beach? <sighs> I guess that would be okay. Of course. Three pirate stories would be... I don't think so. Two's fine. Good night, Olivia. Sleep tight. Aye, aye, matey. Has anybody seen my lucky tights? Don't look at me. I don't even know what tights are. They're red and white, and they're stretchy, and they're missing. Oh, let me check. Maybe I put them on by accident. Mm, nope, wasn't me. Honey, you have a drawer full of tights. But they're not all lucky. They won't help me run faster or jump higher. There they are. They're stuck to William's blanket. See, these are the lucky ones. Ah. Goodness, this old blanket isn't going to last much longer. Don't worry, honey. I'm just going to sew up the holes. Mommy will give it right back. <laughs> 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 
Wow. Whoa! Didn't I tell you they were lucky? And now, class, it's time for show and tell. Who would like to go? Oh, oh, me, me! Please pick me! Olivia, do you have something special you'd like to show us? Oh, yes! My lucky tights! I never thought I'd say this, but perhaps you could tell us a little more. My lucky tights help me do amazing things. Hmm. Olivia and her lucky tights. Yes, well, thank you, Olivia. May I go next, Mrs. Hoggenmuller? Ah, certainly, Francine. This is the trophy I won last year for selling the most cookies of anyone in my Young Pioneers troop. Ooh. I got my picture in the paper, too. Oh. Very, very impressive, Francine. But everybody loves cookies. Have you ever been the best at anything, Olivia? My mother always says that I'm the best jump roper in the family, and I'm the best at taking off the edges along the paper. Olivia, the best cookie seller in the world! Chocolates as well as cookies, and I'm the best at coloring inside the lines, and I'm the best at jumping over the cracks, because that is pretty difficult. Now that I'm a member of the Young Pioneers troupe, too, I'm going to sell the most cookies this year. Good luck with that, Olivia. Thanks. <laughs> oh, William is so attached to his blanket, but I'm afraid it shrank in the wash. <laughs> I guess I'll need a new one. <laughs> uh, here you go, Sport. How's this? <laughs> no? Uh, well, uh, how about this, Sport? <laughs> Look at Daddy over here. Uh, I, I, I don't suppose you like this. Look, look. <laughs> How about a nap? Dad, I'm selling cookies tomorrow for my young pioneers troop. Before they get all bought up, how many boxes do you want to buy? I like your can-do spirit, Livy, and your young pioneers outfit. Put me down for two boxes. That's it? Just two? Olivia, we don't need a lot of cookies in the house. Besides, to be a good salesperson, you've got to get out there and sell. That's what I'm doing, Dad. No, I mean, yes, but not just a family. I understand. But that doesn't mean Grandma, right? She doesn't live here. I'm going to call and see how many boxes she wants. Hi, Grandma. Would you like to buy a box of my Young Pioneers Troop cookies? Really? Okay. I'll put you down for 12 boxes. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Julian, thanks for coming to help. Are you ready to sell some cookies? No, I can't find my lucky tights. Again. Mom, where are my lucky tights? Did you check the laundry basket? Yes, they're not in there. Well, they couldn't just walk away. Hmm. You know, I'm not too sure about that, Dad. But I think I can do it without my lucky tights. And if I'm going to be the best, I'd better get out there and start selling. Come on, Julian. <laughs> Lots of cookies is having a great sales pitch. So what are you going to say? Well, I'm going to say... Huh? Huh? And buy huh? my cookies! Huh? Works for me. Thanks. 
Hello, Olivia and Julian. And what can I do for you today? Well, Mrs. Casey, I'm here to sell you a box of cookies. Oh, I'm sorry, Olivia, but I already bought cookies from Francine. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. I don't suppose you have a pair of lucky tights I could borrow. Pardon me? Uh, never mind. Bye, Mrs. Casey. <laughs> Sorry, we just got some from Francine. Already have some. Thanks. Let me guess. Francine? Isn't there anyone who hasn't bought cookies from Francine? Sweetie, maybe you could find someplace quieter to sell your cookies, huh? at the grocery store. Oh, yeah. I wonder what Francine would say about my brilliant idea. Why don't you ask her? Oh, hi, Olivia. Guess what? I'm almost sold out. Gee, you've got a lot of catching up to do if you're going to be the best cookie seller, Olivia. Well, good luck and have a nice day. I'm sorry you didn't sell more cookies today, honey. Dad, are you sure you don't want to buy any more? Okay, Livy. I'll buy another six boxes. Thanks, Dad. Boy, selling cookies isn't as easy as I thought. Look what I found. Your old stuffed bear. What? I haven't seen that in years. I, I thought this might calm William down. Oh, I don't know. Uh, are you sure he's old enough? Uh, maybe I could keep it around somewhere. My lucky tights! <laughs> Here, William. Olivia, that's very nice of you to give William your lucky tights. That's okay. I think he needs them more than I do. <sighs> Finally, we'll have some peace and quiet around here. Those men have been working out there all day. You're right, they have. And I bet they're really hungry. Thank you. I'm not sure I sold the most, but I did my best and sold all my cookies. You can't get any better than that. Nice work, Olivia. And I even did it without my lucky tights. Olivia, choose two books tonight and put the others away. It's been a long day. It certainly has. But when I wear my lucky tights, you usually read me four books. I'd better go put them on. Oh, that's right. I gave them to William. Maybe he'll let me have them back. No. no, no. Why don't you read two and I'll read two? All right. Rule of life number 34. Sometimes your lucky tights are even luckier than you thought. So then the princess ate the witch's enchanted pineapple. <laughs> Oh, my God. 